Hello, friends! Today, we'll learn about the human stomach. It's always fun to dance with friends. It helps bodies and minds relax. Ugh! You're having all these food junk items. It's harmful for the stomach because they contain various toxic elements. See? You have pain in your upper abdomen on the left side of your body. This is where the stomach sits. Let me explain all about the human stomach. Whatever you eat goes to your stomach. It is a J-shaped muscular organ that digests food. The human stomach has three functions. Storing food. After you eat, food typically spends two to four hours in your stomach, depending on the type of food you've eaten, how much, and some other factors. Mixing and breaking down food. Look at this mixer and grinder. It grinds the food. Similar to this, the muscles move the contents of the stomach, and thus the solid parts of the food were crushed, ground, and mixed into a soft food pulp. Producing enzymes. Stomach cells produce pepsin, which is the main gastric enzyme for breaking down proteins and digesting food. It's good that you're munching to something healthy, which is going to make your stomach happy. Now we will see the parts of the stomach's anatomy. The cardia. It is the top part of your stomach. It contains the cardiac sphincter, which prevents food from traveling back up your esophagus. The fundus. It's a rounded section next to the cardia, and it stores both undigested food and gases. The corpus. It is the largest section and main body of your stomach. In this part, your stomach contracts and begins to mix foods. The antrum. It lies below the corpus. It holds food until your stomach is ready to send it to the small intestine. The pylorus. It's the bottom part of your stomach, which includes a pyloric sphincter. This vein of tissue controls when and how your stomach contents move to your small intestine. You know, your stomach is part of the gastrointestinal tract. It is a series of hollow organs joined in a long trysting tube from the mouth to the anus. Food moves through your GI tract in a few steps. Let me show you these steps one by one. Mouth. As you chew and swallow, your tongue pushes food into your throat. A small piece of tissue called the epiglottis covers your windpipe, which prevents choking. Esophagus. Food travels down an elongated organ called the esophagus. At the bottom, your esophageal sphincter relaxes to let food travel to your stomach. Stomach. It holds food until it is ready to empty into your small intestine. Small intestine. Food mixes with the digestive juices from your intestine, liver, and pancreas. Your intestinal walls absorb nutrients and water from food and send waste products to the large intestine. Large intestine. Your large intestine turns waste products into stool. It pushes the stool into your rectum. Rectum. It collects and holds your poop until it's time to release it. Always remember to fill your plate with fruits and vegetables that have antioxidants and fiber to keep your stomach happy. Now you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye!